Morning lovely souls, it's Tim Wild. It's Friday, so it's Friday. It's, it's the Friday Ascension update. And uh, we've got lots and lots of very interesting stuff to kind of uh, look at and talk about this morning. So I might, I might be meandering a little bit. But first of all, the UK is about to probably go into another kind of uh, very hurried, very kind of what, what looks on the outside, so on the surface level to be a very kind of badly organised lockdown. So I know the north of England is already kind of um, beginning to rise up from its from its um, its slumber and, and there's all of these incredibly interesting things going on. Now between and and the kind of the start date of this was the 13th of October because Mercury Mercury moved into its final retrograde of the year. Here everybody kind of shrieking, oh no, not another retrograde, but we've 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 had this accumulation of very powerful retrograde energies happening for the final part of this year. And of course, as you've heard me say before, it's all done by design to get a to get to to create a certain cooking effect for what we are experiencing, what we're seeing rolling out. Now, between now and the 21st of December is is it's a pivotal time. It is incredibly important due to the fact that this 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 is where <clears throat> this is where the fight it's almost like what we call the final battleground um the 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 rolling out of the fifth dimensional frequencies that have been so intense that they've completely you know, almost torpedoed out of the water all of the remaining kind of uh the 3d structures and all of the things that we had around us that might have been uncomfortable but they were familiar all of this is beginning to fall away now <clears throat> and all and all of the inaccuracies all of the untruths and all of the all of the sleight of hands that have been existing in our society are now being revealed in glorious technicolor now i live in the uk and the uk i'd say is probably uh, hand in hand with australia one of the and and the united states one of the places which is almost it's it's the template for the the kind of the the secret the the secret kind of uh government operations and i'm going to be very careful with with the words that i use obviously because i don't want to kind of get flagged up with with my videos and you know pre from pre from previous times that i'm i pick my words carefully because obviously once social media recognizes that the like you know that the videos of an alternative quality and they start flagging it taking it down doing whatever so just you you'll understand what i'm talking about all of you know what i'm talking about this this is the final show okay between now and december the 30, 21st which is the winter solstice we've got the accumulate we've got the kind of the cre the crescendo of 2020 now i would say that the next 8 weeks are going to be a colossal wake up for the majority of people that are still asleep and of course we've got our two very hard working very diligent camps the 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 truth the, the truth speakers who are getting in, in uh, whose volume is increasing on a daily basis as we feel urged and pushed to shout the truth from the rooftops um you know like quickly see what is going on you know almost almost like you know the clock is ticking the time is running out and then you've got the you've got the light holders camp now quite recently i've found myself with a foot in both camps which is quite unusual but earlier on in the year i was being instructed very very kind of um very carefully by my by my guides by my team the souls that kind of bring the information into me to just stay quiet stay in the background hold the light but i'm feeling feeling myself speaking out <clears throat> more and more regularly recently particularly in the last week or so and i've had a good think about what it is that's urging me to do this and what 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 the triggers are and we experienced almost a identical set of circumstances that we are we can see feel and and experience at the moment at the fall of atlantis 
okay now you hear me talk about atlantis and you hear me talk about modern day i believe that the two are intricately bonded that they are intricately woven in with each other many of us on the light path who are feeling very <laughs> acorns um any many of us who are feeling very prompted at the moment to to shout from the rooftops to speak to hold the light are feeling that sense of urgency are feeling it because we are experiencing almost an action replay of what occurred at the fall of atlantis everything from the masking of society right through to the the what we're caught you know you might be hearing it in your own country or certainly in the uk something that's being referred to as the great reset which is the the, the kind of the only other way to describe it would be the, the the kind of the the plans of the the new the nwo who are who are rolling out there or they're rolling out the scheme around the plat around the planet on the surface level What's going on at the moment is they have they have bolted. They are beginning to panic quite badly because the thing that they feared the most, um, the, the, the the thing that has always been on on the top of the list that they are trying to prevent, is the vast wake up, the colossal wave of people that are, are springing awake, as they are at the moment. But for you and I, for for the for the for the light workers, for the, the reawakened Atlanteans, the, the, the truth speakers, the warriors, the earth workers, we are all experiencing a, a, very, a very definitive shadow side which is coming up because it was only 10,000 years ago that Atlantis actually fell. And I've had several people message me, um, particularly a, a friend of mine in Finland that said, I feel that I'm living in the end days of Atlantis and <clears throat> I had a good think about it and it's, it's funny actually because as soon as I'm talking about it my, my throat's going so it's, it's again it's the it's the whole throat chakra thing we are watching and experiencing the rolling out of the circumstances around us exactly as they occurred in the end days towards the fall of Atlantis and so this is bringing an incredible shadow up for us. This is bringing all of our memories, all of our fears, all of our triggers to the surface for us to kind of look at in, in you know, now the light is shining so brightly upon it. And in some ways, this is probably one of our biggest tests. This is our biggest test to hold, hold our lines, hold our light, stay in our truth, do not be shaken in any way, shape or form by the, the, the kind of the massive distractions, the 3D party invitations and all of the other things that are occurring. So over the next eight weeks or so, we are going to experience an increase in intensity of this. Like there's various parts of the UK that are going into lockdowns. They've got this, this kind of conical traffic light system where it's either green amber or red and already there's kind of those red ones flashing in the country we are all watching this happening in real time now how we choose to engage with it is in into again it's entirely down to us it's do we put our fear and our anger into it or do we step back trust the plan which we've been which i've been asked to do right from the start and i hear many people saying well you know, how much of the plan can I actually trust at the moment when things appear to be kind of like moving south with the wind behind it? 2020 was never going to be an easy year. It was always going to be the year where the truth is revealed, when the stones get chucked into the pond and all of the mud rises to the surface. So for this last period of time, we ride it out in the highest and the brightest vibration possible. There are huge movements of, of people waking up now. And what they're doing, they're getting themselves organized very, very quickly. So these group energies are, they're coming together. They are rebellious in nature. They are, they are rising up. But one thing that I do believe that we need to be very careful of is when rebelling, when reclaiming our power, when standing up in truth and standing up in light, is doing so with a very specific energy 
if like I've said previously we, we, we grab our swords and our shields and we charge onto the battlefield roaring that is exactly the energy that we are being coaxed into. I've watched this very carefully particularly over the last week because I know because of my own personal triggers exactly how this works. We grab our swords and we charge into battle and immediately we have fed our energy into the only way to describe it is it's almost like a very carefully orchestrated, very, very cunningly designed. Um, it, it's, it's almost like running, running across a field and there's been a pit dug in the middle of it. OK, and without thinking, we're looking at the target and we fall into the pit. And, and that's very similar to where we are now. So <laughs> we navigate around it. We navigate around it. We keep calm. We keep breathing. We keep holding our light as high and as pure as clear as possible and we think and we are very meticulous with our actions before we add our energy to anything so that's where we are at the moment there's this enormous catalyst for change in the air it's it is upon us change is here and it's how we orchestrate that change that the next part of this is is rolled out the the target of it where we're going is already preset we're moving from a third dimensional energy to a fifth dimensional energy but all of the show all of the carnival that we are we are being invited to at the moment needs to be navigated very carefully it needs to be nav navigated with the ultimate truth and light and the highest frequency possible so here within lies one of what probably one of the largest tests that we 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 could possibly experience at the moment because we're all being triggered our survival instincts our our righteous anger is being triggered everything that could po every single button that could possibly be pressed is being pressed at this moment in time and they'll and they'll keep pressing it over the next eight weeks or so now for me particularly it's it's been invoking a very very strong stream of of kind of memories and emotions now some of you that have listened to my live events will have heard me tell this story before but when <laughs> back in 2014 when i i i was first planning to i was first planning to write the the archangel guide to um ascension with diana and this is before I was public speaking. This is before I was kind of getting myself out there. I drove Diana Cooper up to London. She was presenting at Mind, Body, Spirit. As some of you listening might have actually actually been there. It was May 2014 or yeah, it's May 2014. So I drove Diana up there and I was running the bookstore and she, she was presenting to, to 400 people and so and some some of you had actually flown from around the world to see it, it was it to me it looked like the most enormous audience and and back in those days so standing in front of a a group of people felt incredibly intimidating i've, I've always always felt that that people who can stand up and speak speak to crowds of people to greets of people uh, incre incredibly brave and at the time the thought of doing so filled filled me with absolute terror kind of thing it's, it's it's everybody it's everybody's worst fear until you do it kind of thing and halfway through her presentation diana called me up on stage and i did my blue star seal of atlantis meditation for the first time and I will, i'll always be very honest with with anybody who asks me about my experiences who i am the actual first the, that absolutely terrified me i've never been so scared in my life so but it it works the, I, I presented the blue star seal meditation and i went and i sat back down again and for the rest of the day i was kind of asking myself why did i or why did i used to get such a strong reaction from presenting myself standing in my truth and and, and being me and public speaking and you know it goes it goes a little bit further than just your kind of personal anxieties about yourself and a bit later on when i was driving back from london with diana and her friend in the car i had a stream of memories come in and these memories were me at the fall of atlantis and this is the final days we're talking like you know literally days before atlantis sank between beneath the waves for the fifth and the final time 
and I was addressing publicly a group of people that had previously revered me. You know, I was, I was a high priest in Atlantis and um, I remember certain aspects of that lifetime very, very clearly. But this hadn't come to me before. And there I was standing in front of a crowd of people and the, the, the crowd of people weren't listening, very much like the kind of the, the masses that we see out there at the moment. They were partying, they were, they were just doing their thing. They're like, we haven't got a care in the world. There's nothing to worry about. And meanwhile, I'm standing there saying, if you don't listen, you, the, the Atlantis is going to sink. It is going to go beneath the waves. And high above me, I can remember in the vision that there were black clouds beginning to swirl and and build above me and this vision was clear and i realized at that point that because i hadn't because the people weren't listening to me and because atlantis fell and there was nothing that i could do about it that at that point i i almost lost faith in my own spiritual abilities to convey the truth to speak the truth and in this in this particular vision i lost my call okay uh, this this happened in the final days of atlantis and like many of us would do in and and did do in those circumstances we be, I, I lost my temper and i said things that i shouldn't do and from that point onwards for the next ten thousand years in whatever scenario i incarnated in i had a limited ability to express my spiritual truth and that is all contained within the throat chakra the with many of us we we placed energetical we had an, an energy an agreement to place an energetical blockage around our throat chakras because our throats were so powerful in atlantean times so that we could not move onwards for after the fall and still use our throats at a fifth dimensional capacity everything had to be reduced to the third to the third dimensional agree the vibration that we'd agree to live at so from that point onwards all of us who lived in Atlantis had to take a step down. Okay, then now this was an agreement, this was a contract that we had for the next 10,000 years. And so all of us who are now experiencing the current circumstances that can see and feel and almost sense this, this, this deja vu of what is occurring out there, this, you are, if you're feeling this, you are feeling the same as me you are feeling the same as other people we are experiencing this in real time it is almost like a reenactment of the fall now that you know before everyone starts to panic and think right okay we're going down with the sinking ship as i've said to you previously that is not going to occur this is not the fall of atlantis this is the awakening of our, our entire planet so what we are doing now is we're, we're seeing this shadow, we're being allowed to experience something that we probably never dealt with, that has, is coming to the surface in, on a cellular level for every single person on this planet right now, but particularly the light workers, particularly the, the souls that are awakened. And the reason why this ship cannot sink, that, that we are not going, that, that we're not going to experience what we experienced previously is because this is all part of the wake up process okay the 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 the, the whole rollout of the last 10,000 years it's been it's been very repetitive you've heard me say it before the same players who are in control who have been in control of the planet have been incarnating again and again and again in positions of of kind of, of you know what we'd say positions of authority there they're in the top levels of, of um, kind of government and and the organizations that run this planet and because they are now losing their power and they know it's going if not going gone then all of the stops are being pulled out and it feels like the fall of Atlantis all over again the difference is that we are now doing this in a very different frequency. This is the important part. This is kind of like, you know, the, the point of the story where I get to say, like, you know, do not panic. This is all happening for the higher good. And we are not sinking, we are, we are rising. So, you know, my heart goes out to you if, if you are, if you kind of have identified over the years as, as, as a, a a past life Atlantean and you are experiencing and feeling these emotions very much like I am. It's powerful stuff. Rise above it.
work through it you know we've all one of the <laughs> one of the glorious parts about the spiritual pathway is is facing the shadows you know it's not all fluffy love and light and, and head in the clouds at the moment this year has been very much about facing what the, the you know you, you bring the light in the light shines brightly and all of a sudden the shadows are revealed and if you can't deal with the shadows then then it's um that's when the problems begin so i hope this um i know i've been kind of rambling on a little bit this morning but this is where we are at the moment we are experiencing this incredible shift and this is the final part of the year this next eight weeks will require all of you to be in your up <laughs> on your toes basically you know if it was say in the kind of the kickboxing world on your toes you know make make sure that you're, you're bouncing on your toes and you're moving freely be aware of what's coming at you and just keep and, and keep your light high your frequency clear your manifestation sharp and just be aware of yourself your reactions to things why it's occurring and if you get knocked if you get knocked out of center just bring yourself back to where you were previously and and start again it doesn't matter if you start a hundred times a day you know some of us are kind of getting really rattled really triggered by what's going on and of course you know you don't ignore it you don't sweep it under the carpet you just recenter and you you come back to point again so yeah watch this space we've got some amazing energies coming in i've had a couple of other people email me as well and say what is going on with the frequencies that are coming in it's almost like we're so distracted by what's going on in our reality around us that we're forgetting about the intensity that's coming in from the heavens and the help that's available to us so i hope you all have a lovely end to the week and a beautiful weekend and of course if any any sort of anything else comes in or i get any other kind of perceptions or or updates and i'll let you know straight away sending you lots of love talk to you soon bye for now